Speaking of basketball, the Mad Ants aren't the only ones getting ready to get their seasons underway. The Indiana Tech men's and women's squads open play tomorrow night. Ted Albert's team is coming off a 22 and 12 season a year ago and a third place finish in the WAC. The Warriors had a cup of coffee in the NAI tournament, falling to eventual champ Spring Arbor in the first round. Albert says the team has three goals, a WAC regular season and tourney title and a trip back to the NAI attorney. Even with five of the team's top six scoring threats from last year gone, this group likes their chances. We lost a lot, but we definitely gained more than we lost, I feel. Um, we got a lot of guys coming in with a lot of energy, a lot of young guys that are willing to listen and uh, put forth their best efforts. We got a lot of good pieces of the team this year. We got a lot of, a lot of younger guys stepping up, so that's going to be an exciting one for us this year, and uh, we're, we're just looking to do us. Well, I think that using our size inside with, with Josh Klein and Lucas Lehrman um, and our ability to space the floor, we've got some young guys, I think, that are going to wake some people up and, and certainly have been right now, but everything's easy right now. You know, it, it, everyone's zero and zero, and everyone has the same goals and aspirations, and once the rubber meets the road, we'll kind of see what, how some of those things formulate. Tech opens their season tomorrow night at home against Bethel. Tip time set for 7 p.m. The Tech women are also set to get their season started tomorrow night. The Warriors coming off one of their best seasons in program history last year. They went 32-4, and four, won rat whack regular season and tourney titles, but they fell in the Elite Eight of the NAI tourney. Success breeds respect. Coming into the year, Tech's ranked fourth in the NAI preseason polls, and despite having to replace some offensive firepower in Kendall Kanapke, the team returns the bulk of its scoring and has their sights set big. We're hoping to do just as well as we did last year. Um, we definitely have new faces coming in. Um, we're hoping to fill that spot of Kendall. She's a big part of our team. But um, I think we got some good people that can help us this year. It will be different. Uh, we've got you know some uh, players that can play multiple positions for us. And I think it puts people in a difficult position to guard. Uh, and I think we're athletic and probably a little deeper than we were last year. It's just nice having some returners so we can like show the new people coming in. Like this is what we're here for. Like we're going all the way. We just talk about progress, uh, talk about day by day, uh, one step at a time, and um, we obviously have our goals of, uh, you know, trying to uh, repeat as WAC champions, go to national tournament, uh, you know, finish better than last year. Um, but you know, for us, it's a progressive thing that happens day by day, and uh, we just try to get better each day. The Warriors open their season tomorrow night down in Huntington. Tip time set for 7 p.m.